Hello friends, I am champion Mahipal. Today we are going to learn about switch statements in C language. Okay, so first of all the question arises, what is switch statement? This switch statements allows a variable to be tested for equality against a list of values. Okay, means let us take an example. We take input of a, a fruit from the user and we want to check is user have entered apple, mango, then we can check that value using this. Okay, so what is the syntax for this? Okay, switch keyword we use, then the expression. Expression is what? We have taken input a fruit, so we will give fruit here. Okay, then case. Case is also a keyword. In this, we write the label. Label means the value from which we need to equate. The value from which we want to test the expression. Okay, if the value comes true that is it matches this then the statement will execute okay if it doesn't match then it will go to level 2 and check if matches then statement will be executed after the execution of the statement the break statement is used if we don't use break statement then in case of level in case when the level 1 comes true it will execute all the statement of further labels there is one more case in case when no label comes true no case matches then what it will do it will execute default statements in last we write default so that default statements can be executed okay so now let us take a look at example for this here I have take value is equal to 4 ok switch value it will check the value it will compare the value value is an integer case 1 when is value equal to 1 no it is not equal to 1 2 no it is 3 no so it will come to default and print value is other than 1 2 3 ok now let us see the output yes value is other than 1 2 3 now let us check 1 ok to do value is 1 so now let us try it. let us see this by removing break statement what it will do here value is 1 value is 2 value is 3 value is other than 1 2 3 it is not breaking the switch that is why we have used break statement we are going to learn about function in C language so what is function function is a group of statement that together perform a particular task a task like adding two numbers multiply two numbers or anything else so what is the syntax for this first you should write return type that is what function will return ok then the function name what is the name of the function then the parameter list what it will contain ok after that you have to write the body of the function what task it needs to do for this let us take a look at an example here is example include studio.h now what is this I will tell you about this later now make this a comment void main it is a abc a is equal to 5 b is equal to 10 and c is equal to add a b okay print 
here is our function at is the name of the function integer is the return type this is the parameter list and this is what it will return okay it will take two integer as its parameter then return by adding these two values and where it will goes it will goes here and now the question what it will do it here we have declared the function we have told the compiler that in future we are going to create a function whose name is add whose return type is this and contains two parameters okay now here here we have called the function add add has two values a and b this gives the value of a and b and the value of a is copied to the x and value of b gets into y return will add x and y and return after returning it goes into c and when we print the value comes here here sum is 15 okay now let us try by changing the value okay sum is 17 we are going to learn about the difference between call by value and call by reference. Here I am explaining you how call by value works. For this I have made a program. This is a function swap with two parameters and here is its definition. It simply swaps the two numbers. Okay. And here I have taken two variables x and y. Here I print the value of x and y. Then I call the function swap with x and y. That is 5 and 10. And I am just printing the value of x and y. Now when we call a function what happens? This value x passes to this it means the passes means a new memory block is created in the memory and the value of x is copied to the value to the variable a and similarly value of y is copied to b okay and then using the temporary variable we first put the value of a in the temporary then value of b in a and then the temporary in b which swaps the value of a and b but it doesn't swaps the value of x and y it just swaps the value of a and b which is which works only within the function that is within only this block okay so here the value will be 5 and 10 but here the value will be 10 and 5. So let us take its see its example, see its output value before swap 5 and 10. Values after swap that is in the function block. It swaps 10 and 5, but in the main block it is 5 and 10. Okay. And here the call by reference call by reference uses a pointer that is memory address is passed here no other memory spaces are used it just passes the memory to two different pointers so that they can change in the values on the same memory address here is the example it is till here it is same but here we have passed the address of x ampersand x ampersand what does ampersand do it passes the address passes the address of x and it passes the address of y 
this address is saved in the pointer a and this saved in the pointer b now what happens the value at this memory will be transferred to temporary and then the value at this will transfer to this and temporary will be transferred to b it swaps the value but the main thing to notice that it swaps the value at the original place so this will also be seen in the main function okay so here is the output 5 and 10 after swap 10 and 5 and value after swap it made 10 and 5 this is the main difference between call by value and call by reference we are going to learn about the variable scope so first local scope of the variables also called local variables the variables that are declared in, inside a function of block is called local variable global variables are defined outside of a function okay, this is the main difference between the local variable and the global variable here is the program to explain it further I have made a global variable this is a function our main function and I have created another function print okay, return type of it is void I have here made its declaration and here definition so it is our global variable what does the global variable means global variable means we can use it anywhere in our program but our local variables are used can be used only in the function or the block in which it is created here a is created a global as I have created it outside the main function okay and B is local variable as I have created it in our main function okay so I have given the value 5 to B and A to 10 you can give value to the global variable in a name block and it will remain effective in other blocks also let us suppose I change the value of a in this it will also remain effective in this block also so here is the program value of B will be printed here and value of a gets 10 and I am calling the function print in print I have just print the value of a okay so we are using very single variable in both the function okay so now let us take okay. value of b is 5 we have given we have given the value 5 to b here and a 10 here a 10 okay thank you very much